Hi, welcome to week four of the uh, internship and directed study class. You are now entering, where, when you're done with this week, you will be one third finished with this class. It goes fast in the summer. Um, uh, this week you'll be working on terms of agreement or as I often refer to them as contracts. So that's the contract between you and the organization that lays out how much you're getting paid, what's your scope of work, uh, and a whole host of other criteria that you need to be really clear with an organization when you are freelancing or doing a consulting gig of some kind. So that's this week's assignment. Um, I've been looking at your journals. You're doing a great job on the journals and I know that you'll be in a good place if you continue to journal every week to take a look at your own learning and also to draft one part of the final deliverables which is a thousand word uh, sta you know, statement about your reflection journals, a summary of your reflection journals. I will be also getting back to you on your, what you just sent to me relative to the project plans. So relative to contracts, they're important. It's really important to be really clear about them. Make sure you read all the resources. I also gave you some sample grant writing consulting contracts. Uh, keep in mind if you use one of those, take out all the references to grant writing because you're not doing that. You're either doing a social media project or something else at your internship or you are doing writing an annual report. So the contract needs to completely refer to that. So we're also turning a corner. After this is done, you, are, you should be pretty well uh, deep in researching your organizations if you're doing the directed study and um, you're making sure you have all the information you need to start writing the annual report. So you'll be writing the CEO letter, the board chair letter, you'll be writing a program summary. So all those things you need to start researching and finding all the information you need on that. So make sure you get a jump start on that because as you can already tell, the weeks go fast. Um, you can also begin to relate to me as your VP. So if you have a question after you've done your research, that you're not really clear about, you should send me a memo that requests a conversation by Zoom and includes a listing of the things that you're needing information on. Now, you need to make sure you've done your homework before you request a meeting with the VP. So make sure you've checked Charity Navigator, GuideStar, or as it's now called, Candide. You've checked the website, you've Googled. You're not gonna ask me a question that's already easily available on the web because that's one way to tick off the VP, the person who's hired you. So, um, so keep that in mind. I'm also available for any questions you have as, uh, as your, your instructor, just making, make sure you're clear on what kind of conversation you're having with me at the moment and make it clear in the email where you request that. So I look forward to continuing to see all of your work. I will get back to you on your project plans within the next couple of days and have a great week.